calm yourself and see, okay, well, this is actually the same thing as, well, the government used tax to leverage with the producers. It's the same shit. Well, they want to be on our side, but you got to understand what the side is. If this system is created for these motherfuckers, they got all the money. They trying to keep their government going. What the fuck uh-huh. you think they're going to do? They're not going to make it easier for the people who's putting the money into the government. They're going to tax them more. So you got to know what team you want to play for. This is why at some point in your life, you're going to realize, do I want to be the person who gets used or do I want to be the person who's doing the using? And I know you might look at that as a negative thing, but you got to understand how these people are thinking. They're thinking like occultists. There is no good. There is no bad. They, those who understand God understand that. There is no good. There is no bad. There's only consequence. And with the consequence comes whatever the fuck you did in them actions, you're going to get that fucking whatever that, that kickback look like. That karma, yeah. Yeah, whatever that looks like, solely on you. And to me, positive and negative, that shit out the window. So you got to know, well, I'm controlling my thoughts now. I'm leveraging the information I have of how shit works around me. I'm leveraging the information of how I uh, how I'm operating. And now you in a fucking flow state like me and Ollie been in for the past, I don't even fucking know what, three weeks now? A month? Yeah, we've been flowing, coming and going into this flow. Yeah. Which that's something we gotta teach a course on the flow oh, state. Man. I gave you the equation just now. Well, a lot of people I, a lot of these people, a lot of the followers may not know what flow state is. Oh, I, just to give them a little yeah. synopsis. Not, Bust that shit down. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm not gonna go into detail on it. I'm just gonna keep keep it brief and give them an example. Okay. Flow is kind of okay. The best way I can describe flow in layman's terms, flow is like when you first meet that boy, a girl, or in these days, whatever the hell you date, mm-hmm. and y'all like each other, and y'all have that first conversation as you're getting to know each other, and you. Get on the phone, you, you, you make an agreement, hey, we're going to call each other at about 7 o'clock. And, you, and you're having that conversation, and you're getting to know each other, and you there's a genuine interest both ways. And y'all are connecting, and you're syncing up on this level because both of y'all got a common interest to get to know each other. You both like each other. And time seemed to disappear. As you start at 7 o'clock, the next time you look at the clock, it's like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. And it's getting so damn late, and you're so engulfed into the great conversation. So it's like, you don't want to get off the phone. Time, You don't know what time it's gone. It's like, damn, I didn't realize it's been, what, three, four hours already? Right. And it's Two kind of, in the morning. That is kind of what flow state is. Or when you're at work and you get into this project where you lose time. Time mm-hmm. disappeared. Every bit of your energy and focus is into one it's thing. Into one. It's not, you're not forcing it. Being out of flow Ooh. is if you take that same conversation where it's like, I meet you, you meet me. But I discovered, I really don't like you. But I discovered that, but I decided, hey, I'm going to talk to you at 7 o'clock. Let's see how this conversation goes. I get on the phone at seven o'clock and I'm not interested, right. but I'm trying but to like, trying, I'm trying to force this conversation. And as I'm looking in here, it's like, well, I don't want to be rude. Damn it, it's been 10 minutes. Damn it, 15, 30 minutes. I right, at eight o'clock, I'm getting off this phone. If you feel like that in anything, you're not in flow. Yeah. You're going against the grain. If you chasing ass and like, the shit is not just like, oh, yeah, let, so where you going? And like, Shorty already trying to leave with you, and you still, and you, it's cool, then. Just don't chase. When you in a flow state, you won't ever have to chase that shit. And that's where people be fucking up, because yeah. they be, oh, you, man, trying to control shit. If you are in a relationship, uh, and it takes people to separate you, it take a few calls for the authorities to show up, you are yeah. definitely not in flow. You're definitely not in flow. <laughs> what we call toxic. Yeah. 
Nah, you, if you yeah. can't have a conversation in, in a general conversation and y'all work things out and come to a great compromise, you are definitely not in flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if y'all got if the message friend, charges. If you have a friend that aggravates the hell out of you and y'all are not sitting around there planning and having fun and you enjoy hanging out with your friend, whether it be male, female, whatever it is, yeah. you're not in flow. Get the fuck away from it. Exactly. You should flow. Yes. Like, y'all see we on here, right? Look, before we started this, he was like, so what's the topic? I'm like, I really just want to just say some shit and you just like jump in. Because when it's right, you don't have to do all like scripts and all that shit. Like, we actors. We get on the stage. We could do a whole scene probably and that shit. Improv. Be improv and it'd be realistic. You'd be like, damn. I wonder how long they, they practiced this shit. Well, we just got on here, what, but, 30 minutes ago? <laughs> yeah, but you bring a good point. We can do that because we've done the work of the keys to the mm -hmm. island beforehand, and we prepped up. It's kind of like an yeah. athlete. One of the things Deion Sanders said, it's how yeah. you practice. You know, you want to be good at work. It's not at work where you make the money and make the good move. It's when you're not at work, the knowledge that you put in, learning the basics, repeating the basics, going over and over. If you a speaker, you don't wait till you get a speech to prepare. You're speaking nah, every bro, you're day. Speaking every you're day. preparing it. You're looking at videos of yourself. Mm -hmm. You're trying to improve. You, 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 you're taking in other knowledge from other people. You, you're reading, listening to the podcast. You're reading the blogs. You're on the internet searching of what you can do. And practice makes perfect in whatever you do. Which we have to go into this. Well, we had already talked about, you know, going into our mastermind think tank and money making series because mm -hmm. even making money and getting rich take a practice of doing things. Yeah. Being successful in your business takes practice. Look, it's not a look, it's not overnight. It's a point you I said, bro. You said from uh the last time we did this shit, man. You were saying uh, when you was talking about the um, how business and life are the same shit, like your personal life and your business life are the same. And should you look at yourself as a CEO and look at your life? Should you fire your damn self? If you can't manage $5,000, why the fuck are you going to expect somebody to let you manage $5 million? 